Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today we're going to make some easy resin Christmas ornaments. I found this mold at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. And we're going to use the mold to make Christmas ornaments. We're going to use some acrylic paint. Now what you can do with this also is if you wanted to do plaster and just make these, you can do that and have the kids just paint them up after they after the plaster is set and that's a really fun way for them to get involved in it and not have to worry about the resin I'm gonna do it in resin but you can really do it either way and all I'm gonna do is paint in the little sections now now this mold does have a matte finish so just keep that in mind the stuff that you pull out of here is not going to be shiny and now I'm just gonna take a skewer stick and some red paint and I'm gonna use the end of the skewer stick and that's just to put ornaments on and all I'm doing is making a dot with the red. Now I'm going to do the Santa hat and I'm going to paint just plain white on the pom-pom and then on the band on the base. Now for the next hat we're going to just turn that into like a little stocking cap and you might want to think of the base color that you want it to be. So that's going to be the snowflake on there. I'm going to put some more on there. On this one I'm going to do some more pastel like colors. And I have my skewer stick and all I'm going to start doing is some like squiggly stripes. I got, I'm got. i going to do the blue first. So it'll look like that. I'm going to wipe it off, take some purple and just do like a regular stripe. Right in between those. And then I'm going to alternate green and yellow polka dots. Now I'm going to make the pom-pom a mix of the, the blue and the purple I think. So I'm going to take both on a brush and just sort of swirl them together. I've prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast and I've divided the resin into four different cups because I'm going to need a green, a red, a pink, and a light blue. I've mixed in some chunky glitter for the Santa hat. Remember this is a matte finish so it's not going to be a shiny finish when it's done. Pour that right in there. This is probably even thicker than I need it to go. I'll let that sit. I'll mix the green, the blue, and the pink. The resin has cured so now I'm just going to unmold them. Here's the Christmas tree. Um, after I had done it I decided I wanted to or a thinner version as well. Just to show you, you don't have to go this thick. I don't know why I did. But here's a very thin version of the very same thing with the red and the gold. Oops. And you can leave them matte or you could paint them over with some resin and gloss them up if you wanted to. Here's the blue one. Here's the Santa hat and apparently I got a bead or something stuck in there with the glitter. And here's the other one. Here are all the pieces unmolded and I've decided I'm, I wanted to gloss them up for the holiday. I've already glossed this one up and I'm using a triple thick, any kind of a, a gloss sealer will work and you can absolutely do the resin over it as well. But here it is, now you can see this part is glossed up and this is still matte. So whichever way you like it better, do it that way. These would be fun to make as little little party favors, stuff like that too. But remember, you don't have to go this thick. You can go thin like this. And all you would do is, on the thin one, is drill a hole like through the star, add a ribbon, and you have an ornament. And on these, you can drill down in here and add an eye screw and a ribbon, and then you're good. And you can do that on the hats, because I went thicker on the hats. So this was just a quick little resin project that I thought you might think was fun, and I hope you like them, hope you give them a try, and we'll definitely see you next time. Happy crafting, and happy, happy holidays.